So I have taught myself a party trick. Uh, and in fact, what I've got here are folded up pieces of paper to give particular shapes. And these shapes are letters of the alphabet. Uh, because of course, letters of the alphabet are just shapes. Uh, although of course you do have to get rid of any kind of curvy bits. You have to make them all out of straight lines, but you can still do that and make any letter of the alphabet. So what I've got here folded up is one straight cut and we should have the letter K. This one One straight cut, and this will give us, I mean, it's, it's slightly squarer and boxier than you might be used to, but that's the letter A. You might guess where this is going, if any of you are paying attention at the start. What I've got here are the letters of my name. So this one is a nice T. This is the easiest of all the letters. Which is an I. And of course, finally, with one straight cut, we have the letter E. Uh, and this is uh, something that I worked out how to do um, because I decided I wanted to be able to do this. So I sat down, I looked at all of the letters of the alphabet. I started off with the easy ones. So for example, this is the letter I, this is quite a nice easy one to do. So if I have the letter I like this, it has a nice line of symmetry down the middle. It also has a line of symmetry across the middle like that. So I could put those two folds in. First of all, lining up that shape with the shape underneath. And then I can make a fold here to put those lines onto each other. And then, of course, I'm going to need one more fold so that this horizontal line gets cut at the same time as that vertical line. And that's going to be a nice diagonal fold there, which will line those up so that now I can cut out an I. But of course, that's the easy one. Uh, slightly more complicated would be something like T. Uh, but of course, this again is made nice and easy by the symmetry down the middle, so I can make that fold first. Okay, I now need to make sure that I fold this nice corner here, so I can fold there. And I need to bring this line back over that way to join the other one. And you can see that all of the lines line up, it's lovely. And then finally, I need to fold these two bits to make sure that the corners um, end up making a nice square end. So I've got a fold here like that and another one at the bottom there. And that is how you fold up a T. So one nice long straight cut. Hopefully that has worked. There we go. A T. Uh, and of course, they do get more difficult than that. So to do an E, uh, I first of all make use of that kind of horizontal line of symmetry there by folding it in half that way. I then notice that this bit up here looks the same as the top bit of that bit down there. So I actually fold that in half to line that up with itself. There, I can then fold like that to get those two corners. And then to finish, I fold that in half and make the end. And that's how you fold an E. The best thing about this is that having worked out how to do all of these letters, I showed one of my friends and later on they sent me an email that said, oh, I found this uh, PDF file that someone has made with all of these fold patterns in. Is this the thing that you used? And I said, no. I worked them out for myself. Uh, and I'm very glad I did, actually, because it's a lot of fun. Uh, it's a nice, challenging thing to start with simple shapes and get more and more difficult. That is, of course, a beautiful letter E. 
I can do any letter of the alphabet, which means that if someone else tells me their name, I can cut out the letters of their name on demand. Um, and this is something I'm very, very proud of. So that's A. That's B. That's C. That's D. That's E. That's F. And that one's a G. That's H. There's I. That's a J. That's okay. That's L. That's M. That's N. That's O. There's a P. That's a Q. That's R. That one's an S. T. That's U. One's a V. That's a W. There's an X. So why? And 
and that's a Z.